Have paint missing cups always been a mystery to you? These numbers mean nothing, but you'd really like to know how to use these to mix your paint? Find out on this episode of AC Designs Garage. All right, guys, what I got here is a mixing cup from TCP Global. They're a pretty big uh, online paint seller and stuff. Bought a lot of stuff from them. But I think I got these off of Amazon. It still comes to these guys, I think. But I'll list it in the description below. You can just go click on it. It goes to my Amazon affiliate account. It don't cost you guys anything extra, but it'll help channel out a little bit and give you a good place to go pick these up. But these are a good cup because they have the two-to-one. A lot of the older cups don't have two to one, so if you stay tuned to the end, my buddy Ken has showed me how to do the two to one just off of this little uh, scale right here, so stay tuned for that. And also, go subscribe to his channel. He just got it started up. He's the guy that taught me all this stuff when nobody else would. So I'm gonna link his channel below in the description. Go click on that mug and turn on notification. Also, don't forget your boy here. Go click on mine and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks for being here. And uh. Cut on that notification bell, hit the likes and all that good stuff so you'll get this content every time I put it up. All right, let's get to the table. We'll mix up some stuff, and I'll teach you how to use these things. Super simple, super easy. You guys can do it. So let's get over and start mixing. All right, guys, what I have here is I just mixed up something that's going to represent the base coat like you would mix. Like this was unreduced. This is just in the can. And I'm, we're going to mix it. Uh, I'm going to show you on the one-to-one, -one, and I'm going to show you a couple little tricks I like to do. As for your one-to-one, it's a good way because some of these cups I do like the way the TCP has it some of these cups like this have a bunch of lines going around and stuff and it gets mixed up and they actually have the separate colors to separate each each mixing ratio but this is a good habit to get into till you really get used to it is I just take some red girl paint masking tape because it keeps from drawing your attention you get a lot of lines on it and I'll see if I can dig up one of the old mixing cups but this will just help you stay focused on what you're mixing so now you know you're on your one-to-one. -one. So what we're going to do, this is a quart is what this is. So if you wanted to mix a half a quart, so you see the five up here, this will be full quart. So you'll bring your base coat to the five and then your reducer to the five. So that'll be one-to-one. -one. So if we was going to mix half or roughly a half, I guess half of five is two and a half. So probably what I'd mix if I wanted a half a quart was I'd mix the three. It'd be just a little much. So that's what we'll do on this one. We'll mix the the three up and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, 90% of the time I'll say, but read your cans because right here I'll show you real quick. This is an old uh, epoxy can. It shows the MP171, which is what this is. This is MP171, this is your epoxy. And then it shows, you do the two parts on it and then it shows the one part, MP175, which is your catalyst or hardener. So most of the time, the first number is going to be your parent material, like your, your base primer clear or anything. And your second one on your bases is going to be your reducer. And on your clears is going to be your hardener. But we'll do a, a faux clear mix up here in a minute. So, so you'll take your base coat and you'll pour it up to your three. Now, you need to make sure a lot of people will guess at doing this stuff. This is a chemical reaction. So as you can see, we got it to the three. So you want to get these numbers. You're like being a... A chemist so you want to get do it exactly as it says so now we're going to be adding our reducer so we're going to go up to our next three and then just make sure you stir it up really good a lot of people skimp on this so I like to spend a minute or two stirring this just to make sure everything's incorporated real good and then make sure you always use a paint strainer I'll uh, link some of those in the description below when you're poured into your gun. So this will be your base coat. This is your one-to-one. -one. So it comes up, so it's roughly almost two and a half, really half of this, but we did the three, so there's your half-quart mixture. All right, let's get on to mixing the two-to-one. All right, guys, just want to let you know we dropped some merch. I finally got to the 10,000 subscriber mark where I can put merch up, and I appreciate every one of you guys, all 10,000 of you. I think it's up to 11 now. But anyway, make sure you uh, go below the description there if you want to pick you up one of these t-shirts. I got t-shirts and the hoodies. Pick you up one. Help support your boy here. Thanks a lot for everything you guys have done for me and all the great comments and everything. So let's get back to the video. All right, guys, we're going to go to the two-to-one real quick. And this is the one the old one didn't used to have because a lot of your base coats are one-to-one. -one. And uh, I know some of the old House of Color stuff used to be two-to-one, I think. So we're going to do a two-to-one here. And like here it says two one to one. Now some, I think there's some base coats out there that may have a hardener in them. 
and that's where you just uh, follow directions that's on your paint can. Like I said, don't don't ad lib it or nothing like that. Just try to follow your directions. All right, guys, we're gonna pour up the two to one. We're not gonna worry about the second one. So what you can do, because when you're first starting out, this stuff can be a little challenging. So we're not gonna, because you're trying to get everything right and remember everything. So let's not leave nothing for play. We'll cover up that one on the end. So we're gonna do the same. Now let's change this and we're gonna do a, a two to a two. So this is mixing two to one. All right, now we're gonna bring the color up to the two, which is right here. All right, keep her dead on the line. And then we're gonna get our reducer and go up to the next two, which will be here. So that'll be mixed two to one. And then just like we did on the one to one, you'll give her a good stir, pour it through a paint strainer, and that right there is ready to paint. So now I'm gonna show you a common, like a clear mixture. And everything, once you get this down pat, it's super easy. All right guys, here's an old can, old 2002 uh, PPG stuff. I had laying on some high solids clear. I'm gonna show you how it mixes on it. Now, this is why I say pay attention because I'm not sure if different manufacturers have different, the way they read it, but see it says on the four, which will be your clear coat, the DCU, and then on the one here, this one has the reducer going first. And on the next one, it's one for the DCX hardener. So just make sure you pay attention to this. Most cans will have it, or if not, you can go online and figure it out. But mix it the way they say to mix it. And uh, like I say, four parts clear to one part reducer to one part hardener. So that's what you need to pay attention to, guys. So we're going to do that. I'm going to mix the four one-to-one. So go around here and find your four one-to-one. And uh, I'll show you how to mix that up. All right, guys, just like we did before, like I said, I found some of my old mixing cups, and you can see how there's so many lines and numbers, it'd be easy to get distracted when you're trying to do this. So this is a good, these TCP globals are really good because they separate them good, but it's a good habit till you get used to doing it and just uh, lay it out with tape. Like I said, that way, I've done it before. I've gotten questioned myself mixing stuff. Did I put the wrong, did I do a half part from the other side on the other ones? So it's just good to have to get into and after you get used to it, you don't have to keep doing it. So here we go, four one to one with the clear. All right guys, we're gonna go to our four. So if we're gonna do a half, we're gonna do our three again. So you'll go to the first three right here. This will be your clear coat, like you're pouring your clear coat in. Go up to that three. Get it as close as you possibly can. So this, this next one's gonna be like on like we're mixing the DCU, this is gonna go up to the three on the next one. This will be your reducer. And then we'll we'll get our hardener next, which will be our catalyst. And you'll take it to the next three. And then we'll take our, our stir stick here and you'll, you'll wanna mix that clear for a good while. I like to really get it incorporated really good. And make sure you strain it for you. Put it in the paint gun because you never know stuff can fall off the top of the lids dust particles anything and you don't want it in there it can clog up your gun so run it through a strainer or two it's not going to hurt to put two strainers in some of these they're a little more coarse mesh that don't have as tight a mesh so basically guys that's how you do it right there now now we're going to go to the trick here so say this let me look at this other cut it has two to one so say this one does not have two to one and you're mixing a epoxy or whatever you're mixing up this got to be two to one you're like man i just don't know what to do this is your tip of the day here supplied by mr kenneth at Sheryl's automotive it's what he taught me years ago so i can show you the difference i'm going to use the red that i use for my base coat and this could be anything whatever you're using this mix two to one okay we're going to go ahead and take this off so it'll get because i don't know how good you guys can see it because those cups being clear makes it a little harder to, to be able to see this stuff. All right, if you're mixing two to one, and I'm gonna do it by the parts over here, not really the ounces. Let me stick, stick this cup in here just to, there we go, that way you guys can see it. Okay, the way you're gonna do this to mix, now we're mixing uh, two to one, that's what we're gonna mix. 
And we're gonna do it by the parts here. So you got one, two, up to 16. So if we're gonna mix, we'll do a five just for, we'll use the five part thing. We're gonna use the five here. So what you do is you take, this is gonna be your, uh, we're gonna call it your base coat. So you, you do your five and you take and minus half of five. So whatever half of five is, is gonna be your one part. Okay, half of five is two and a half. So we're gonna go one, two, so seven and a half is gonna be your reducer or hardener if it's either one. So if you pull it up to the five with your base coat or whatever you're using, and then you reduce it to seven and a half, then you're gonna have your two to one. So let's do that real quick. So we're gonna do this just so you can see it. We're gonna pour the base coat or whatever you wanna call it up to the five. And then we're gonna pour our hardener or catalyst or whatever it is to 7.5. So that's your two to one without having the two to one markings. And I thought that was a neat thing. He taught me that years ago. Like I said, a lot of the old cans or the mixing cups didn't have the two to one. And I used a lot of House of Color back when I was uh, custom painting helmets and stuff like that. So that was a real help to me. All right, guys, before we get going, I was going to show you, I mean, they make a ton. Depending on the size project you're doing, you're doing an overall, you want to get, they make some gallon ones and just huge. I just have several different size mixing cups, and some of them come with lids so you can uh, cover them up, keep trash and stuff out of them. But I'll link some different sizes in the description below, and I hope this helped you guys out. If you have any more questions about paint, body welding, uh, sheet metal repair, or anything like that, make sure you drop the comments in the below. Make sure you go visit my buddy Kenneth's, uh, YouTube channel is Cheryl's Automotive. Link it below. Make sure you go subscribe, like all that stuff to mine. Remember, be kind to one another. Jesus loves you, so do we. God bless. We go.